Off to America then for the final three races of the week. The New York Turf Chase this time. Two miles and three furlongs, grade three. And the top one is Adrenaline for Leon Van Rensburg. Cool Field for Alex Cherry. Future King Jim Murray. Houston Assassin, Vinnie Gerard. Joburg Granite. Craig Allen. Lake Saint Croix for Darren Thompson. Monumental Madness for Paul Rhodes. Sponge Bandit and the Great Grey for Warren Costello. Word is my Bond Super for Martin Leedham. Baby Blue for Alex Cherry. Celtic Cliche for John Morgan. Mandrake Root, Martin Leedham. Popular View, David Hooley. A relative Rose, Craig Allen. Sean Berry Brady for David Robertson. And Vision for Joshua Sutherland. So 17 then. Again, quite a few returners in this. You bid race winners last week, last season. And away they go. And racing towards the first of the fences on one of these tight American jump tracks as they get over the first just 11 fences to take in this. And. Celtic Cliche is the one that's gone on into the lead. John Morgan Gray. He's probably going to try and get over to the fence shortly, I would have thought, with these sharp turns. And Jockey doesn't seem all that keen, but he's starting to make a manoeuvre now. And two of these caught one losing a bit of ground. Mandrake Roots and Caulfield to name two. And also Sean Brady lost a couple of lengths on that turn as well. But Celtic Cliche has gone five lengths clear already then. As they race into the final two miles. Celtic Cliche is a clear leader of Future King in second as they get to the second. Which they're all safely over. Joburg Granite just about the back marker. Celtic Cliche is off the rail again there. And coming down towards the next. We'll get over that one nicely. With Joburg Granite and Caulfield towards the back. Past the winning post then. 14 furlongs to go. Could well be two more circuits of this track. And Celtic Cliche on the fence in the lead from Future King six lengths back in second then Relative Rose and Baby Blue and Lake Saint Croix after that one two in the purple and white hoop, uh, purple and white stripes of both are in quite wide on the track word is my Bond Super and Mandrake Roots and the fourth fence is upon us and over that one they go a bit of a mistake by Relative Rose has seen that one just shuffle down the pack slightly but it's Celtic Cliche who's four clear Future King, Baby Blue third, and then Lake San Quarries fourth as they get to the fifth. And over that one down on its nose there was Mandrake Root. It's now dropped towards the back with Caulfield. So, two of these not jumping all that brilliantly so far. This is a very different track to one of the ones that the ones they're used to in Britain, and it's Celtic Cliche who's the leader from Future King in second. Baby Blue third, Lake Sound Quarries fourth, and then Relative Rose recovered from that mistake. The Great Greys after that one, then Word is my Bond Super. And Houston Assassin Visions after that one, and then Monumental Madness and Shambri Brady as they caught to the fence. It'll be the last on the next circuit. And over it they all go. And race up past the stand and past the winning post for a second time. Well, this is actually the fence, it'll be the last on the next circuit. It's a huge stand at this track. He stands that big very often these jump tracks do so we pass the um winning post then i've got one more circuit to go and celtic cliche is the leader popular view has gone when i was waffling about the architecture but it's celtic cliche in the lead from lake san quarries moved through in a second relative rose is third then future king is fourth wood is my bond super being pushed along the outside then the great grand sponge bandit stable companions running together chambry brady and vision after that one as they get to the eighth and the leader was right down on his nose that time and suddenly the complexion of the race changes as relative rose comes through as a challenge for the lead and they begin to bunch up top relative rose celtic cliche lake san quarry still there chambry brady and future king houston assassin the great gray over the third last they go and there's a fall there Jim Murray's future king's gone that one's out of it now as well and it's relative Rose and Celtic cliche Chambry Brady looks to be going really well on the outside then Lake San Quark Houston Assassin word is my Bond Super's not out of it yet either but it's now relative Rose's kicked on relative Rose kicking on then with two and a half furlongs and two fences to go relative Rose is two or three lengths clear of long time leader Celtic cliche trying to battle back in second Houston Assassin coming up the 
inside from Vinnie Gerard, then comes Joe Berg running. Word is my bond super trying to run on Sow's Lake San Quarren Sponge Bandit. They're coming down towards these four and two fences. And now Celtic Cliche jumps back into the lead. It's Celtic Cliche has gone on again. Here comes Vision coming through really well. So finishing well is adrenaline. They've still got one more to take. It's Celtic Cliche in the lead. Celtic Cliche comes to the final fence, gets over it nicely. Good jump on a horse in second. Here comes Joe Granite as well, but it's Celtic Cliche and even hangs on to take it. Celtic Cliche wins it. Joe Granite is second in vision and gives the Saturn and Lake St. Quarren and Woody's Bomb on Super and then Sponge Bandit. And all the way back to Mandrake Rooter was last. And Celtic Cliche. Shocky ran a good race on that one, gave it a bit of a breather, let them overtake it, but kept a little bit in hand for the finish. Uh, John Morgan likes these American tracks, he doesn't mind whether they're flat or jumps, he'll be pleased with that one. And Kelsey Cliche takes it for John Morgan, Joburg Granite for Craig Allen was second, Vision for Joshua Sullivan was third, Adrenaline Leon Van Rensburg was fourth, and Houston Assassin for Vinnie Gerrard was fifth.